Okay, this is it. This is Lada Tour 2019. It's organized by Fortum. So right now we are at uh, uh, IKEA Slepen. Yes, I tend to start at IKEA. <laughs> and uh, we have a bunch of people here. Uh, they are going on the trip together. So this would be, I guess, completely different than the, the trip we had uh, with uh, Fortum in Finnmark, where we just, that was a mission. Today we will just chill. Uh, have fun. We don't drive too far, uh, so it's uh, it's going on to, to be on three days. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. So you see here, uh, we have some of the same people from uh, earlier years, plus some new ones. Uh, so we have Norsk Elbilfredning. It's um, the Norwegian EV Association. I don't think they are. I don't think they're join joining us. They probably just uh, just came here for. Uh, uh, for the introduction, so <laughs> they drive, of course, an i3. Yes, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, uh, and anyway, then we have Don. Yes, the reporter from uh, Fortum. <laughs> I'm enjoying I'm, the silence. I'm fully charged. I'm enjoying the silence. Yeah. Uh, Something else. I'm sliding by and stuff. Yeah, this, I like the last one there. Let me see this one. Uh, I do not have a range anxiety. <laughs> cool, right? Uh, so uh, there we have. By the way, you probably recognize him. That's uh, that's Ole Gubran Hempel. He's from Fortum, Yes. Uh, so we have. Oh, look at this. So we have some IPs. We have Ionic. That's very good for this run. But also an e soul <laughs> who the heck is a lucky guy with an e soul wait it could be just some random dude yeah uh, we have uh, some some leaves really old leaf uh, i'm not sure yeah i think this is Ampera e is also with us you see all the fortum ladder tour uh, cars this is a 40 kilowatt hour leaf we have a golf we have another leaf Lots of leaves. I think I'm the only one. This is the car I'm using for this uh, event. It's from Nissan. Yeah, it's a 62 kilowatt hour leaf. Oh yes, the top of the crop leaf. Uh, we also have a. Oh yeah, there's someone using an eye pace also. Yeah, and this one belongs to Lars. Yeah, I think you guys have seen it before. So and um, yeah, so it would be just the usual stuff. We drive around. We stop and try to. Uh, uh, everyone is trying to hog the charger. <laughs> but you know, that's why I chose this car because it has so good range that uh, normally I would drive some ENB 200 or whatever, and then I will have to be stuck somewhere trying to get enough juice. But now, with, the, with this car, I should have enough juice to go all the way to Hukilisete, which is the, the end point for today. We will not drive too far. So. Yeah, the battery is nice and cooking, so uh, <laughs> I will show you more about that. Oh yes, we have 100% here. Uh, let me reset this one. Yes, let's reset some of the trip meters. Uh, reset this one. Yeah, okay. Tire pressure is a 2.5 bar. Well, check what is it supposed to be. You can see it here on the door here. It's supposed to be 2.5 bar. Uh, we, we have 17 inch wheels. Uh, this one only has a 16 inch wheels. But I, I don't know why the press cars are always loaded with the biggest wheels. Uh, okay, anyway. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, so that one is good. We have 100% according to that one. According to the buy, we have 98%. Uh, I fast charged yesterday. I tested fast charging, so it was 37% when I uh, when I uh, uh, left it for charging, and then during the night it dropped to 27 degrees. Yeah, what did it percent? I meant 30. <laughs> I meant 37 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so it's not too hot, but you see, uh, we have we have so good range now with the the E plus that. It shouldn't be a problem. You see, according to GOM here, we have almost 400 kilometers. Let's say at least 300 kilometers of real world driving. So, live stream is running. And I think most people on Lada Tour, they already left. I'm always the last one to leave here. Uh, okay, let's uh, hammer it. Uh, yeah.
All right, we are on the move and now we are in Drammen. And you know what? Uh, I feel like, you know, I look at the temperature here. What, what the heck? Uh, there, no, what? There, kind of. I'm not sure why it's acting up like that. But the temperature hasn't gone up much. Uh, because we have 50% bigger battery, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the next stop should be uh, Yukon, which is only 136 kilometers from here. That's plenty. Wow, okay, the range dropped a little bit now. It says 351 now, but <laughs> I think we should be able to spend about 50% to get to Yukon, yes. So it's a nice day. Uh, it was supposed to rain, but it didn't rain after all. So that's good, yeah, because I didn't bring the Tesla umbrella. <laughs> Look, we drove 160 kilometers straight from Slippen to here. Uh, and I arrived here with over 50% left. Wow! Well, you can see uh, uh, over here we have um, Leaf Spy. Let's see it better. We have the live stream going on there also. But let me show you, okay? We can, we can actually look here. It doesn't matter. It's about the same. Uh, well, actually, no, no. Let's look here. Let's look here. I have to grab this one for a bit from the live stream. So you see... 32.6 degrees Celsius, not too bad. We're getting 43 kilowatts. Yeah. So anyway, let me just put it back there for now. Uh, like this. I think the guys from the live stream want to take a look here. There. So this is this is really good. Uh, way better experience than I had last year with the ENV 200, and that was a 40 kilowatt hour. But the ENV 200 is is bigger, you know. So. Um, Yes, uh, we have one guy here from uh, Ladetour. He uh, he came from another direction. He didn't go via um, via uh, IKEA. And then uh, I'm not sure where the other guys are. So I was the last one to leave and the first one to arrive. That's usually how I roll. Um, so eventually they will be here, I guess. Oh, you know what? They have they have some stuff here. Yeah. So. Um, we will just wait for the rest of the group. So, yeah, by the way, this is Yukon. Um, it's, um, it's in, in <laughs> where, do I, where do I start? It's just uh, a nice place. Yeah, we, we are surrounded by mountains. So typical Norwegian landscape, lots of mountains. Yeah, and of course, Yukon has some, uh, has some historical uh, stuff from the World War II, it was a strategic place. I don't know too much about that one, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've been there before, but that was actually with... Oh, I've been there with the Millennium Falcon once. I did some Nimber task, yeah. I remember that one, but... Okay, so let's wait a bit and see when the other guys appear. Oh, and look here. So you see, we started with about 33, I don't remember, 33 or something. So you see, we only gained 5%. Uh, and we now up to 86%. So we're getting five, five degrees, yes. So this is the, the result of having a bigger battery pack that uh, when you have a bigger pack and you still charge at 40 something kilowatt, then you have less heat buildup. Yeah. So um, if this was a 40 pack, then uh, we should be uh, over 40 degrees Celsius by now. Um, and of course, this also 86% on this battery is a lot of range. Look here, 335 kilometers of range. 
uh, and we are still getting 33 kilowatts so that's that's uh, very good compared to the old leaf which throttle uh, the speed quite a lot so man this is so great now compared to the old one the old 40 kilowatt hour okay we've been hanging out here for probably over an hour and now we finally have the rest of the group here so actually I found out that many people and most people they went over the mountains so there's another uh, yeah another e-golf just arrived so and they line up here yeah let me show you so we have uh, an eye pace, this is from Bilbetik 1. Uh, what is that uh, outside the size? But Östfold, yeah. So that's also the same store I, bo uh, I borrowed uh, the other eye pace from, yeah. So look, we have, oh, there's always these fossils, these noisy fossils. But okay, we have an eye pace, we have an Ampere E, uh, ooh, Kia e Nero, an Ionic, yes. You see the, the cars are getting better and better for every year. And then this is the leaf I'm using. And here we have the sole and another Ampere E. But you know, he should line up with the other guys. Yeah, and then we have more leaves, lots of leaves here. E-Golf. So quite big group this time. Yeah, we probably have, I didn't count them, but more than 10. I would say 10, 15 uh, uh, cars today at uh, this time. Yeah. So nice weather. There are some activities going on over there. I will show you. For the third one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here, there's a material. You, you, there's a box. And you're supposed to put your hands in it and try to guess. <laughs> try to guess what's in there. <laughs> I already done that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this one, this one is a bit special. We have a leaf with with V8 sound. <laughs> Can you turn it up louder? <laughs> <laughs> you see, people who complain that uh, you don't have engine sound in the leaf, you can still get it. <laughs> right, look, this is the only e-tron on this trip, but it's not just a regular e-tron, it also has a trailer, so let's check it out. Yeah, so, um, yeah, no need to show the e-tron, e you guys know it, but look, it's... Uh, what is it called again? Lifestyle camper. Nice. You know, they can just go camping anywhere. Hey, look, look inside. Oh, you have, you have USB. You have radio. You have a TV also. Some speakers there. You see here we have a bed. Hmm, not too shabby. Yeah. What about in the back? Well, oh, there's a kitchen in the back. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, it still runs on fossil, yeah, but uh, huh? what about this one? Ah, uh -uh, there's a sink and everything. Wow. And see here, we have we have Shuko, USB again, some light and some stuff. Ooh, this is, you know, you don't have to go full-size uh, caravan because this one will obviously uh, save some energy. Uh, as long as you have the basics for camping and sleeping, yeah. And I think over here on this side, you also have uh, a little roof you can fall out. So, huh, cool. Yeah. Just wonder how, and there's a toolbox over there. Huh. So, um, not bad. Let me see. Is this one, okay, it has the conventional mirrors. Yeah. All right, we have been here quite a while. Yeah, the e-tron is still there. Uh, some people left, seems like half the group left, so I will also leave, they packed up all the stuff now, so I will also leave now. I will leave now. <laughs> so we still have some people here, but okay, whatever. Uh, so, you know, I was at, I was at 37 degrees. So you see, it's been hovering around 37, it doesn't change much, okay? And it says that I have 94% state of charge at plenty. 
the gum hair says I have 368 kilometers of range left so plenty I have to drive only 114 kilometers now to uh, Hukeli Sater it is on quite high elevation though so we'll see it will be up in the mountain so all right let's uh, hammer it We are now at Hercules out there. This is, I think this is Fortum's, uh, the, the, the fast charger at the highest elevation, yeah. Um, but we have a little party here, yes, they are slowly arriving, but I have to show you something. Okay, so I arrive here with 38 degrees Celsius. Well, it's, it's, it's heating up now, but, oh, it's a bit unsharp there. Okay, so let me show you. Well, actually, let me just borrow this one for a bit. No. So you see, it was 38 degrees Celsius, and I'm getting 40, 44 kilowatt. That's not bad. I'd say that there is really no big deal with the rapid gate here, yeah. Huh. All right, but anyway, I'm gonna move the car because I don't need to charge that fast. So um, yeah, uh, I will take the AC for now. Look, look, the sheep, they are feeding. They are, they are running loose here. I wonder if they are afraid of humans. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Very friendly. And there's more over there. They're just feeding here. Yeah. So this is a na nice lake. Not too nice weather today, but uh, yeah, at least it's not raining too much right now. So, uh, huh. And I heard that uh, we are at 950 something meters over sea level. So, yeah, it's cold up here, unlike down there earlier today. So, uh, um, ha, look there. I see what that one is. Okay, let me show you here. I'm, I'm too lazy to walk over there. That seems to be a jacuzzi. <laughs> they have uh, something that looks like a lavo. Uh, you know, the, the, the Sami tent. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what the Norwegians do around here. Hmm. They're just walking around. Let's, let's check out the sheep. Yeah. They're feeding. And well, I had to watch out because there's like, there's shit everywhere. Yeah. So, hmm. Okay, well, oh, we have people from the other side. Yeah. The guys that came from uh, uh, Hugesund, they are joining with us. Uh, this is a, uh, oh, this is the new leaf. Yes, this is the new leaf. Oh, I like that blue color. Yeah, you can see it, it has a new screen. This is a new 62 kilowatt hour leaf. So I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, you, you, will, you will ask me. Bjorn, what do you think about the new leaf? It's good. It's way better in terms of rapid gate. I will, make, I will investigate more of that. Uh, but then they haven't really changed much for the rest of the car. And it's a bit expensive, yes. So the problem is not that the leaf has been, well, the leaf is, has gone up in price quite a lot. And the problem is the other car manufacturers, they have good options now. Kona, E-Niro, e, e -Soul, uh, the Volkswagen ID3 is coming, maybe MG or some other goodies. So that's made the leaf a 
how they put this, uh, not so good option. Yeah. So, but we'll see. Okay, I still have two more days to drive around with it. All right, so here's a dinner. Yeah, lots of spots. Uh, let me check out the food. Mm, we have potato and some kind of meat. Mm. Oh yes, and this is salad and some berries. Yeah. So okay, and then we sit in there. So you see, um, I stopped the live stream now. Yes, because I figured out that it's it. This doesn't make sense to live stream right now. So we would just I would just mingle with the guys, socialize and chill, and then I would actually start live stream again on Sunday. Yeah. So, all right, it's been a couple of hours now. Uh, I finished the food. Yes, it was delicious. And now it started raining. So, yeah, um, still cars charging. They, <laughs> we only have two fast chargers here, but they managed to fix, well, uh, the AC charging points were broken, but now it's working again. Yeah. Uh, so not too much stuff going on today. Actually, more chill days, like I mentioned. So. Uh, now we will get to the hotel, which is uh, 15 kilometers from here. So actually, all this time when I stay here, I didn't charge at all. I let all the other guys charge, yes. I don't want to hog the charger, the fast charger, so. Um, so now we will go to that place. Yeah, we have lots of uh, participants here. You can see it on the stickers. Uh, that's, that guy's from Fortum, yeah. Um, so I just preheated the car. Yeah, this is this is Jaguar parking. Look, <laughs> yeah, just, so anyway, yeah, here we have more people. Kiss you, you your gas goodbye. It should be kiss your ah uh, ass. <laughs> okay, and this is uh, this is the leaf. So um, let's uh, get in there and get to that uh, hotel. We are now at the destination for the night. This is called Vogsli Tun Hotel. So it's um, one, well, 15 kilometers in the other direction. So we went, I mean, earlier today, we came from that direction. Uh, and then we went to uh, Hökeli Sater up there. And then we came back again here. Most, most of the other participants, they are staying in that hotel. And then we are, we are just three people uh, around here. So, oh, by the way, do you have a charging cable with adjustable uh, current? Hmm? No? Hmm? Oh, do you have a charging, cur charging cable with adjustable current? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But um, anyway, so you see, they, this hotel has destination chargers. I didn't know that. So, ooh. <laughs> so now I can charge on AC. But look here. So... Uh, you see that we have the red, the red ones for uh, Tesla. Okay, the charging here is for uh, non-customers. Then you have to pay. Yeah, but for customers here, they get free charging. So this is good because the hotel here costs about 150 euros per night. Yes, but you see they have one, three destination chargers. Uh, one with, I mean, one with the white. Uh, sign and then two with the red signs and the red signs they are configured to only work on Tesla but I found out that yeah this car by the way it's uh, it's the the owner here or some of the employees here they use this one so I found out that this one works on the leaf whereas the two other ones does not work on the leaf so the only explanation is that they put up the wrong sign. So I explained to the guys, they were actually here, uh, the, the, the owners or whatever. And so I told them that you have to change signs here. <laughs> yeah, so, so people are not confused. And actually, I think they wanted to open, reconfigure and open all of them. But then they need signs, they need the white signs, yes. So this is good. Um, I didn't expect this, yeah. I was expecting to have the charge up in the morning. But uh, you can see in leaf spice, I just have the car fired up right now, yeah. And we can take a look, look at the leaf spy. I think it should communicate even if I'm outside. Let me see, come on. Uh, it should be green when it's communicating. 
No, it's not. Okay, let me go inside. All right, now it's communicating. Yes, if it's green there, this is called Leaf Spy Pro, by the way, if you're wondering. So here we can see all the input. So actually I'm pulling six kilowatt. There's one uh, 100 watt going to auxiliary, which is probably just the screen and the light and whatever. So we're getting six kilowatt. That's good. Temperature has dropped. It was 38, you know, uh, earlier. So we've been cooling down the stuff. So that's always good. And according to this screen, uh, it should take 5.5 5, 5 hours to charge it to 100%. Um, I'm going to see how long, I mean, I don't have to charge that long. I mean, I could actually charge to only 80% and then disconnect it. Um, so we'll see, I guess, but uh, yeah, this is good that we have destination charging, so I don't have to fast charge. Yeah, all right, um, I guess we'll just go inside and chill and yeah. Yeah, okay, it's been a couple of hours, it's actually 10 now, so I've been sitting in the car making videos, yes. <laughs> I'm always working, A, B, always be working, yes. So here you see, I have the laptop, yes, I recorded the video, I just put it on the, well, on the dashboard here. Uh, and then the car has been charging, so I have, when well, I bring stuff here, uh, this is a 12 volt charger for uh, the camcorder. And I also have this one, which is the, the charger for uh, the laptop. Yeah, it's quite small, actually. Yeah, so, but anyway, I think the plan is I will edit a little bit of video tonight. I might do a little bit tomorrow. I'm not sure how much time I have. Um, so, yeah, I will call it night soon. Yeah, it's getting late. Well, it's getting late-ish. It's 10 now, so, yeah. But uh, I guess I will just slack a little bit, and then tomorrow we hammer some more.